everyone. So today we're going to be doing a quick review of point slope form. Um, and if you don't remember point slope form and you're getting ready to do your week five summer work, I suggest you go back to the overview of lines from week two. You may want to read through because um, I'm just going to give you the form. I'm not going to show you exactly where it comes from at this point. So the point slope form of the equation um, of a line. So it's a line equation, a linear equation or a linear function, um, a linear equation would be y minus y1 equals m, the slope, times x minus x1. And y, x1, y1 um, just represents a point on the line. Okay, We are going to need th that equation to be successful on this summer work and next year. Okay, so our example, find a point-slope equation. So I'm already telling you I want you to use point-slope. So find a point-slope equation of a line containing a given point and having and slope. So we're going to give you a point, 4, comma, negative 3, and we're going to say the slope, or m, is negative 1. Now one of the things I always say is that the minimum you need the minimum you need to write an equation of a line is a point and a slope. Okay, so the minimum is a point and a slope. If you have that, then you can use the point-slope equation to find an equation. All right, so I'm going to write the equation again. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so then we look at our point 4, comma, negative 3. This represents an x, y. So it is our x1 and our y1. Okay, so that is the point. We plug those points into the equation. So the negative 3 is going to go there. The 4 is going to go there. The x and y that we start with are always going to remain x and y. We always have to, in a linear equation, have an x and a y. Um, unless it's a horizontal or vertical line, then we take m and we plug it in for m. So we're doing substitution of two different things into this equation. So the equation would be y plus 3. Why? Because a negative 3, if you insert it into an equation with a negative, would be negative times negative becoming positive equals negative 1 times x minus 4. In the point-slope equation, those, question, those equations matter, okay? Now, that is a point-slope equation. You are perfectly fine leaving it in that form. All right, let's look at a harder example. Given, give the point-slope form of the equation that passes through a given set of points. All right, so now I give you points. How about negative 6, 8, and 4, 8? Now, remember, I said the minimum you need is a point and a slope. Well, in this, in this situation, I have uh, two points. I do not have a slope. So I have to use what I know and the slope formula and the, the um, change in y over change in x to find the slope. All right, so as a review, the slope formula, change in y means subtract the y's over a change in x means subtract the x's, okay? Rise over run. Um, so I'm going to take my, I'm going to call this x1, y1. I'm going to call this one x2, y2. And I'm going to find the slope. So I'm going to do 8 minus 8 over 4 minus, minus negative 6, so 4 plus 6. Oh, wow, what happened? I got a zero in the numerator. If the zero is in the numerator, it means zero. So I have a slope of zero. So this is actually a special line. A line that has a zero slope is a horizontal line. When I think of a horizontal line, I want you to think of this. This is a horizontal line. Think of the horizon. There's the sun, okay? The horizon, if you look out, is coming out. The sun's, like, pushing through a horizontal line. 
Okay, and the equation of a horizontal line is y equals some number. Well, the number that would be important would be the y coordinate. So in this case, 8. So my equation is y equals 8. All right, now we got to do another one of those because I really wanted to use point slope um, and I wasn't thinking at the time. So we're going to try another one. I'm going to give you the points 4 comma 5 and negative 3 comma 8. All right, and I want to write an equation in point slope form. So I need my minimum. My minimum is a point and a slope. Don't have a slope, so I'm going to use the slope formula to find a slope. All right, so slope. Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. I'm going to label my points. Plug them in. 8 minus 5 over negative 3 minus 4. So 8 minus 5 is 3. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Okay, I've got my slope. I've got my M of 3, negative 3 over 7. And I pick one of the points, whichever one you want. I tend to pick them, the positive numbers if they're positive. So Y minus 5 equals negative 3 over 7 times X minus 4. And there is the point slope form of the equation of a line. All right, guys. Hope this helps. Now you can start your week, um, week 5 homework.